Okay, guys. I was back there fidgeting with the um, with the computer. Whenever I go live, um, I always turn around and look at my computer to make sure I indeed am live because I've gone live before and I've actually been crooked. So whenever you come on and you see my back, I'm over there checking to see, uh, making sure every the video was going the way it's supposed to be going. Um, I am Kelly from Chestnut Junction. Uh, you can find us at www.chestnutjunction.com and our Etsy shop is www.etsy.com slash shop slash Chestnut Junction. Chestnut Junction. Um, uh, we're known for our e-patterns. Um, I also do uh, some finished dolls uh, and crafts. If uh, you are looking for those, you can find this, find those in our Etsy shop. Uh, under the handmade link if there is no handmade link that means everything sold out and there isn't anything currently up there um, also uh, you know you're watching us live if you see the little red button up on the corner of your screen that means that uh, we're here live uh, you can uh, interact with me ask me questions interact with other people uh, in the live Hey, Miss Terry, how are you today, girl? Hey, Pamela. Hey, Karenette. Um, If you don't see that red button up in the corner of your screen, that means you are catching us on the replay, and we ask that you type hashtag replay in the comments down below the, um, the video. Yesterday, if you caught our live, um, we were working on... Uh, Raggedy Ann dolls, and we uh, painted their faces and um, got those sanded. We, we did their, we did these Raggedy Ann faces, um, and I told you I would come back. I would get these two coffee stained, and I will come back and I would show you guys how to um, do actual facial features on the. Um, and faces and for that uh, I use a pilot razor point pen these are available uh, on Amazon if you shop on our website www.chestnutjunction.com you'll see that I do have an Amazon page with lots of links for lots of products that I use so um, if you ever see me mention any of these things you can just go to our website Click on that um, Amazon page and you will see links down there and you can just click right through and purchase these. You are purchasing purchasing them from Amazon. You're not um, purchasing them from me. I just put the links up there um, so you guys have some, um, some references uh, of where to get some, some supplies for um, the different patterns. So today we are going to uh, work on these Annie dolls. Um, I hope that I can get the um, camera in tight enough to show you some of the, the fine detail work on these. Uh, whenever I, I first start on the lining, you know, doing the line work for the Annie faces, I like to um, outline their nose. And that's something, you know, you, you can do. You know, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it, but I, I like to do it. I think it makes them, I think it makes them look good. Um, so I'm going to try to tip you down here. Um, and I'm probably going to have to switch this. Boy, that, that's a glare. Where's that glare coming from? Is that, that's better. Okay. Welcome everybody. Come on in. We're just working on Annie dolls. So we have our our little Annie doll there, and her her nose is uh, her nose has been hand painted. We have coffee stained her. She's been baked in the oven. She's made from muslin, and now we're going to do some uh, detail work with the pen. So the first thing I'm going to go in and do is outline her nose with the pen. And like I said, I hope I can get. Uh, I hope I can get a good angle on this where you guys can can see me. Um, 
And I'm just, I'm going through here with a light touch. Um, you know, I'm not pressing real hard on the pen. And just going along the outside edge of, of that nose that we painted. And like I said, this is a step you can do if you want to. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. Hey, Miss Jerry, how are you today? Just uh, you just want to go a, a light touch on here, and you can see I'm not going like down and trying to do this perfect one and done line. I'm I'm very lightly going in there and um and just trying to you know outline the nose make it stick out a little bit uh, and give it some definition and I like these razor pens because they they don't really bleed or I find like even the fine tip sharpies um, will bleed so we got her nose outlined, and I'm going to go ahead and do that to her mouth. Just come in and, like I said, kind of lightly uh, trace around there. Go as slow as you need to. We're not, you know, not running a race here. I'm trying to just give her a little bit of definition. And if you go back and, um, like, you see any places that, you know, might look like they're, um, I don't know, a little hinky or, you know, like, um, that need touched up, you know, go back and do that. Um, I like things, you know, slowly. Because um, I think whenever you hurry along with things, that's whenever you tend to, um, you know what I mean, make little mistakes and whatnot. So that was the Annie with the square nose. So now I'm going to take the Annie with the, um, with the, the triangle nose, and I'm going to, I'm going to go in and, and outline this. If you're just joining us, um, we are working on Annie dolls. Um, I am using a pilot razor point pen and I am outlining the Annie nose that, uh, that we had painted. And I'm, I'm just, I'm going through, can you guys see? Uh, gotta keep my eye on the comments too. When I do videos on the weekend, Hubby, um, hubby will sit back there and he'll man the chat for me. And I just kind of, you know, get up here and do my thing. But during the week, you know, he's got his regular job. Can you guys see me? He's got his regular job that, you know, he works. So i got to try to man the chat myself. And if I look like I'm getting hinky, you know, with this, um, you got to remember I'm, I'm up here trying to, you know, do this at an angle so you guys can see. So when you guys do this at home by yourself, you know, you'll be able to sit here and, and, um, you know, do it normal in front of your face, um, instead of having to try to do it at an angle. Hey, Miss Sandy, how are you today? Glad you could come in. So I think next I'm going to go ahead and give her a little mouth. Um, I do suggest that if you don't do this all the time um, with the hand lining on the face, that you practice on a piece of paper first. Um, I can even show you. 
what I mean with that real quick here, if I can find a piece of paper. There we go. I think. Try to get where there's no glare. That window really gives me glare. Um, practice, you can practice on a piece of paper, you know, your, your little Annie faces, like there's your nose, um, you got your eyes out here, um, and you got your mouth. See, I have that drawn. So, instead of, you know, just jumping right in with the ink and going straight onto your doll's face, um, you can practice on a piece of paper and, um, you know, kind of see what you want to do uh, and give yourself an idea. And see, even that's a little crooked. So, you know, like I don't, I don't draw perfectly. <laughs> so, like I said, I suggest you, you Get yourself out a scrap piece of paper. Make a couple sketches um, of what you want your doll's face to look like before you, you know, you jump on there with the ink. So, now I seem to have lost my... Guys, I lost my... Really? <laughs> this is typical me. I put down my razor pen that I was, there it is, that I was using for the doll face. And then I couldn't find it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add her mouth. Wish me luck because I'm working on an angle here. I'm just going to give her, make sure the, the lines are all even. And I'll just give her a little bit of like smile, you know, lines, smirk lines, whatever there at the end. And then I like to go through and give her some uh, eyebrows. And then I think for this one, maybe, um, you know how the, the raggedy ends look like they have like, um, their little eyelashes or W's. So that's all, I'm just gonna draw a simple W under here. Hey, Pat. Thanks for coming in. I'm trying to figure... You like the way she looks, or do you think she... Um... Oh, I know, Terry. I sit down... <laughs> I sit things down all the time. I can't find them. Like, you hear me saying all the time, I, I don't... If my head wasn't attached, I don't think I'd find it. <laughs> So this is our uh, other doll, one with the square nose. So I'm gonna come in and give give her her little mouth. Are the leaves turning up your way yet, Terry? They're just starting to turn here. I gave her little smile lines. <laughs> what dexterity. 
You should see me. I can do backflips and cartwheels and all the other stuff, too. <laughs> Not. <laughs> so I'm going to give her some uh, eyebrows. So this one, I think I'm going to give her some, uh, like more some little eyelashes out of her, you know, the corner of her eye. So I'm going to do a straight line, and then I'm going to do a curved line on each side. So a straight line. And then a curved line on each side. And I think this one I am going to give some freckles. And freckles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have a system for doing freckles. Oh, that sounds nice. Except for the thunderstorm, yes, the leaves sound very nice. We had a thunderstorm here the other night that uh, went through and and just, you know, blew branches everywhere out in the yard. Okay, so I'm going to go in and add some freckles here. Do you see how I do, do these freckles? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'll go over here and do the same thing. And I, I, I do one in the middle and then up and down. And then one in the middle and then up and down. And then finish off with one in the middle. And those are pretty light, so I'm going to go back through and darken them up. I think I'm actually going to give this one some some freckles too. I've been making a lot of Annie dolls as of late. And I've had uh Quite a few orders for Annie dolls. I think Annie dolls just make people happy. I know they make me happy to look at them. So there, there's the. Uh... Oh, I like the freckles too, Karenette. My mom, whenever I was a kid, used to call me freckle face. Um, because in the summertime, you know, I was a blonde as a kid. Um, now I lost this and, uh, I had fair skin and I would get freckles all over my face in the summertime. All right. I'm going to bring you guys back up here a little. I'm going to switch glasses too. Is anybody else at that age, like, I have, these are my glasses that I wear all the time, like, you know, that I can literally see with, but then um, they don't have the, um, what is it, the bifocals in them, uh, so I can't see up close, so I have to switch out my glasses, but then before the coronavirus, I had glasses, you know, that, what it, are they called bifocals? You know, where I had the normal prescription up here and then the readers down here. Well, those, those you know, stinking things broke. Um, and uh, with this coronavirus thing, you know, you go to the, the eye doctor and you're right up there in each other's faces. So I've been holding off on getting new glasses. So I just, I keep switching my glasses uh, I carry three pair with me. 
I probably got 10 laying around the entire house. You know, one in every room. Uh, it gets on my nerves. If my real glasses, you know, weren't broken, we'd, life would be so much easier, right? Okay, doll hair. Um, both of these, there's that glare again. I'm see when hubby's not here. Um, I'm trying to figure out where that glare is coming from. When hubby's not here to you know troubleshoot everything. Um, my sister says <laughs> that's cute, Terry. <laughs> and I seriously have made dolls where I'm like, I'll show them to my husband. I'll go, who does this look like? And he literally will tell me who it looks like. And I don't do it on purpose. It just kind of happens on accident. Okay. Back to the doll hair. Um, both of these were purchased from um, Joann's. They are they're not um, actual doll hair. This is wool yarn. Here again, that, that stinking glare. Um... Guys, I'm sorry for that glare. Okay. This one's more, I would say, of a, you know, barn red. Um, uh, it is a wool yarn. This one might be, there's that glare again. This one might be wool, wool ease. I wonder if I turn that off. Now I feel like I'm in the dark, but hopefully you guys can see me. Um, this one is more of a uh, barn red, and this one's more of a burgundy red. Now I can't see. See how I flub this stuff up when hubby isn't here? Anyway. With the glare and all, let's try to put some doll hair on here. So I'm going to start out with this one that is, um, it is the, the barn red. I think this, like I said, this one is wool, wool ease. Um, and it's, where's my, where's my camera? It's got, it's a two ply. Um, so what I do, I stick my doll down and I will flip her hair over her head and that that looks like about a good length to cut it so I'm gonna go ahead and I will usually cut um, usually around 10 or 12 pieces of this uh, this yarn depending on how thick it is and how thick you want your doll hair um, but I will normally cut, like I said, 10 or 12 pieces, same length. Um, to give her some uh, thicker doll hair. I don't like it when there's not enough strands. So let's see where we're at here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just th these wool yarns can be purchased um, at any of the big box um, craft stores like Michael's, Joann's, um, Hobby Lobby, and I've been using them more than I have um, than I have my actual wool doll hair. And these are, I mean, there are wool. Some of them are 100% wool that you'll find some of them are a wool blend. Um, so I've got my strands of doll hair um, cut here and I'm just I'm take, taking the middle and I'm going to put it on the middle of the doll's head. I have got, uh, this is like barn red, burgundy red, um, crochet thread, it's single ply. I do not have a knot at the end, um, but I'm going to go ahead let's see if I should move you down here. I'm going to go ahead and just attach this doll hair at the top of her head. And I'm going under 
under the um, under the seam of her head, and I'll do that twice. And then just pull my my thread tight. And then just give it a couple knots in place. And then snip off those thread ends. So now we, we have her we have her hair attached in the middle. So Gonna go ahead and and I I like to um, just kind of take these in like a bunch and just give them a little twist. You don't have to; it's your preference. But I think it uh, that just slight little twist um, of the hair just uh, it keeps the hair together. You know, it makes it look neat. Actually, I need to turn her around. So, so far we've attached it here at the top and we're going to attach it at the side as well. Yeah, working, working uh, with the camera and trying to keep things even is a little challenging because normally I would, um, you know, be looking at this just right in front of me, but trying to hold, hold it there so you guys can see it too. Um, I get things a little crooked, I think. So tie that, we're gonna snip off our thread ends. So now it's attached. On the other side. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to give her hair just a little twist. Doesn't have to be a whole bunch. Even up, you know, where it's it should, you know, even up where it's attached on uh, the other side. You say you twist the doll hair too, Terry? Seems like it just helps out. All right. Let me get this side tied in place. Okay, so we've got her attached on. Eh, it's 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 kind it's pretty even. It'll do. Okay, so now I will come through, and I will trim off these ends. Try to make them even. Just kind of fluff them up, and there you have your doll hair attached. Freeze coffee. Um, Sandy, I I used to use a long time ago. Whenever I first started this, um, 
but I, I like the um, coffee just because it's it's faster. But yes, definitely you can use um, you can use tea if that's what you like to use. Because I know some people say they don't like the smell of coffee. No, I love the smell of coffee. Um, so for this doll, I'm going to use this other hair. Oh, thank you, Rita, and thank you for joining us. If you guys are just joining us, I'm Kelly from Chestnut Junction. We're working on Raggedy Ann's today. Yesterday, we painted on their eyes and their noses, and we blushed their cheeks. Um, and I told you guys that I would come back today and um, show you how to draw in their facial features. And now I am just adding on some hair and I just I just lay that across her head to try to get a length that I like and just go ahead and give it a snip and then I'm going to cut 10 to 12 pieces 10 to 12 more pieces um, of this uh, wool yarn here wool I think this one's wool all wool um, I'm gonna cut 10 to 12 pieces uh, so we can it up, bundle it, and put it on top of her head. Thank you. I know, like, as far as the coffee staining goes, um, I know there's a, there's ladies that, um, they will just, uh, see, I'm impatient too, um, but I know that there are ladies that will just go and coffee stain their stuff, and they'll just, like, clip pieces on, like, a, a hanger, like a wire hanger with um, some, uh, what do you call them, clothespins, um, and just let them dry. Like, it could take a day or two for them to dry, but they'll just, you know, let their their stuff dry. Me personally, I like to stick them in the oven because I'm impatient and it just, it goes a lot faster. And then there's other people too who stick their stuff out in the sun to dry. Um, and I think you're going to get a different coffee staining look. Hey Pam, how are you? you still working on stuff for that craft show? Let's see how many I got here. This will work. So this was the the yarn that was more like a, a wool roving. It's like a burgundy. But both of these came from Joanne's. Uh, and I like, um, we don't have, I'm going to, if you guys are just joining us, I'm attaching hair to this head and I've got um, crochet thread on my needle. Um, it's just singled. I have a little. Oh my gosh, that sounds cute, Pam. I, I love doll houses. So we're going to go ahead and attach this at the top here. But I was talking the um, Joann's. We don't have a Joann's etc here. We just have a regular um, small Joann's, and they don't have, you know, the 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 good selection um, like they do at the etc. Um, so basically, to go to an etc, we either have to travel. Um, to Pittsburgh which is in Pennsylvania um, but actually it's but there's the other one is in Columbus which is here in Ohio um, the one in Pittsburgh is actually closer so yeah um, if you have a Joann's ETC you have such um, better selection not only of the um, like the wool yarns, 
the um, the fabric. They have so much more fabric at um, at the ETCs. Now, you know what, guys? Just because I'm a perfectionist, see, I didn't I didn't get that in the middle, and I don't like it. So I'm going to take it out. So I said, working uh, at an angle, working at an angle is difficult. There we go. I'm going to make sure I get the... Hello, Alina. Thank you for joining us today. We're working on Annie's. So, guys, this time I am going to look at her face on <laughs> because <laughs> camera, I, I can't, I can't see to get it straight. Goodness, I was like a half an inch off. That's a lot. We used to have, talking about fabric, uh, have quite a few use the shop for fabric, and we just, like, we don't have them anymore. Does anybody remember those um, Hancock Fabrics? I loved that store. Um, and then we had a Ben Franklin that uh, sold fabric. No, I don't put, um, I don't wait my, uh, my dolls, uh, Pam. Do you wait your dolls? I think, um, I, I'm all you know, interested in what other people, you know, who actually, like you, um, who do this as a as a profession? You know, you're you do this as a li living. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a a um, a twist again and attach attach it on the right side. Um, I was going to say um, the thing with the rice. I know, like myself, that you know I do this as a li uh, as a living and. Uh, I just take so many things into consideration. Um, wow, crushed walnut. Wait, my wow, I've never heard of that. Um, but you know, like whenever you have to to ship, um, you know, dolls, or if you're taking them to craft shows and whatnot, you know, weight. Um, so I know me personally. I take those indication, like as far as talking about weight, weighting the dolls. Um, I just feel like it makes them heavier, and that's why I do it. Um, because the majority of my business is online, and um, you know I have to take the the price of shipping into consideration. Um, Because I had, I don't know, it was like a month or so ago, I had a customer who wanted to order a witch doll, but um, she wanted me to, to wait, you know, wait it. And then whenever I told her how much it was going to, you know, be to ship, she didn't, she didn't want it anymore. Um, but maybe if I was, um, if I was you know, selling at shows, I might, um, wait, you know, the dolls. But me personally, I've never had any problems with the dolls, like, like not waiting them. Like when you go to display, 
I've never had any problems like with them falling or not sitting where they should. Yeah, they, it does make them set better. Yeah, that's it, it. It really probably does, you know. Yeah, um, there are so many factors whenever you sell this stuff online um, because each I just think is crazy. Uh, you know, if you don't sell like through Etsy or like um, if you're just selling stuff off of your um, web or off of your um, what do you call it if you are just selling stuff directly off of your uh, Facebook page um, don't like you're not selling through Etsy and you're not using um, a, a shipping service postage is so high so it's like they get you you know, coming and going, you can get lower um, prices on if you sign up for something like, um, what is it, stamps.com, and I think, is there another one called Pirate Ship? Um, but I sometimes wonder if that equals out. Um, oh, I know, Franny, it's so expensive. Um, and then the whole thing with Etsy, where Etsy's changed their, um, I can't think of, if there's a word, I can't think of the word, but Etsy has changed it where they want you to offer free shipping to customers. And um, if you don't offer free shipping, you get kicked down further in the, um, the search results, you know, for customers. And it's like, uh, I mean, customer me, like, yeah, I love going to a place where I get free shipping and, you know, don't have to pay extra for the shipping. Um, but as a seller on Etsy, you know, you have to raise your prices a little bit to cover shipping. And sometimes I don't think, um, customers, uh, you know, under, understand that, um, But, yeah, there's just so many aspects whenever it comes to doing this professionally, you know, and, and trying to um, properly price your things and, um, you know, trying to get good prices on your supplies. It's, it's, it's it, you know, it's a formula, really, that you have to learn over time, but, I mean... You do get the hang of it and what works for you and, and what doesn't work for you. Um, and I really, I, I do, do I love this business. Um, I've met you know, so many nice people. And um, just... the doll hair on this one. So, um, Karenette, you're going and speaking that French and you know, I don't, sp I don't speak of the French. You know, I could, you know, try to do the French accent and I'm probably doing it wrong. Um, <laughs> Um, actually, is it Rita? Rita is speaking in the French act. Somebody's speaking in French. You know, Miss Kelly doesn't understand it. They're doing it. These girls in here speaking French. They're probably talking behind my back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, so, uh,
Um, thanks, Alina. Uh, Pam, uh, no, this was not a certain uh, pattern. Um, I don't know if you, you got to see that we did the doll video where we were showing everybody how to put a primitive doll together. And I went and I cut out five to seven dolls um, to show you the steps, um, each step of the way. So I had a doll here that was, you know, just traced. And then I had a doll here that was just the body. So I wound up, I had like five, five, seven plus, um, uh, that it was the same thing. Um, because, you know, we, we did so many for that video. <laughs> Thanks, Alina. Thanks, Fran. <laughs> you guys, you come in here talking to French. I mean, you know, I, I, you can, you know, but, um, yeah, you're going to make me all self-conscious, like, you know, like talking about me. All righty. Um, is that to say, bisoir? Am I saying that right? Bisoir means kisses. Bisous. And then, you know, what's Karen Nett's going on? Those crazy Americans. Yeah. <laughs> now, Franny's laughing again because I probably totally messed that completely up. Bisous. Bisous. Bisois. Yeah, I'm not good at that. <laughs> All righty, girls. Um, does anybody have any kind of questions? Anything you want to talk about, chat about, um, before I wrap this up here. It doesn't have to be about the dolls we made today. If you want to talk about anything, business stuff, uh, you know, uh, go ahead. You know what I mean? Go ahead and ask while we're on here live and uh, maybe I have answers for you or somebody else in the and the chat has answers for you because there are several ladies in it now that I know. Um, I'm going to have to get that translate button there, Franny. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I, believe it or not, I have a, a pretty good following um, with like, uh, in Puerto Rico and uh, Spain and I will get these emails and these messages in Spanish I'm like what I don't know what you said um, you'd love to see me do a pillow like a stitchery pillow because I can I can plan on um, putting something for that together I'll, I'll get these uh, emails in. Nope, Terry, I don't think I've done a... Um, I don't think I've done one on staining the color. I can, I can do that too. I will, I will write, I will write these down on my piece of paper. Staining the clothes. Um, I was trying to sit here and think like staining the clothes. Um, the other one was a stitchery pillow. Um, hey, Miss Jackie. Um, for the staining the clothes. I think I've shown you guys before that uh, mix up a tub of coffee. This is just a cheapo, cheapo tub. It's made by Betty Crocker. It's from the dollar store. The dollar, and I mix my coffee up in that, and I will do. 
I know at least four, like four batches at a time. I, that Franny, I know, and that's what I have to do. And I, I'll get, you know, those, um, those messages in Spanish and I will have to go to my Google, um, and, uh, translate it. And yeah, it, it's, most of the time it's good, but I I have had a couple um, people not be nice to me in Spanish. You know, there's one thing not to be nice, but now you're not being nice to me in Spanish, really? <laughs> uh, but for the, the, and I, guys, I'm so disorganized. Like, I have stuff thrown around here everywhere. I think my coffee staining mixture is, I think. Um, one cup of hot water, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, and three tablespoons of instant coffee. I think that's my base. And what I do is, is I will mix however much I can fit in here. Like if I could fit four or five batches of that, I will do a big batch all at one time. And then when I go to do the, the clothes for the, the dolls, I will just take... Um, the whole piece, the whole dress, or, you know, bloomers, whatever. I will take that whole uh, piece of clothing and just, you know, squish it down in here, wring it out, um, and then, uh, put it, um, put it out on my baking sheet, um, now, if I'm making uh, some Annie's and, like, I have some customers who do not like stuff that is, you know, totally grungy. Um, if I am making some, and I call it pretty primitive, um, coffee staining clothes that people don't want the clothes really, really dark. I will, you know, after I dunk it, my clothes in the coffee, I will go over to the sink and I will just you know, lightly run it under the water and then wring it out again because I'm not trying to get all the coffee out of it. But like I said, some people don't like, you know, really, really grungy, dark stuff. Um, uh, and even as far as the mixture goes, that the one cup of hot water, three tablespoons of instant coffee, and one tablespoon of cinnamon, that that is just that's base um you mix what you like if you like your stuff darker um you can add more coffee you can add more cinnamon if you don't like your coffee as dark then you can um either not add as much cinnamon or coffee or you can add add more water um to make the coffee uh lighter I can start sending you the the, the Spanish messages, okay? <laughs> You'll probably be not to edit certain things out, you know. I'm just, you know, sometimes I get like, like I can I can talk, okay? I can just ramble on. Um, but like the Spanish messages and stuff, it's like. Um, this business is, is so funny because we're talking about the majority of this is women. All right. And we're talking about sewing and crafting and, you know, uh, decorating all this happy, fun stuff. And I'm going to tell you what, um, yeah, I said, people can get crazy with you. Um, and, and I'm just like, really, you know, like, I just sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, and those are the days like, I'm like, I don't know how much more I can take of this. I love crafting crafts. I love making crafts. Um, but, oh my gosh. It's just like, and I shouldn't even be saying this because like I try to get on here and, and be professional and, you know, everything's all peachy keen and everything. Um, but yeah, I mean, stuff can get, 
stuff can get hairy. Um, and I like, I guess I get like stunned that like there are people that will like nasty messages and take me out for like a dollar ninety nine. Really? You are getting this crazy over dollar ninety nine, a dollar ninety nine e pattern. That makes no sense to me. Um, but I guess like with me and my lives and hanging out with you, I just whenever, whenever you come in and you hang with me, you're getting a real thing. You know what I mean? I'm just a real person. Um, and I, I just, you know, I don't try to make, uh, you know what I mean? It's like I watch some of these videos and everything's like, ew, choo, choo. that's not me. If you guys want that kind of stuff, I'll go find it here. You know, I'm a big goofball and I, I ramble on and talk like I do now, like I am doing now. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, those those nasty emails I get over a dollar ninety nine, and it's it's most of the time because of Etsy. Um, you know, uh, somebody will buy an e pattern, and if that e isn't in their um, um, Elena, that's what I say. I don't know why people have to be so mean, you know. And there are Franny, yes, there are crazies out there, you know. I'm heck all time. I think I'm crazy, <laughs> you know, but I own it. I own my crazy, um, but I don't understand why people have to be so mean. And it's just like, there are some days where I'm just like, I don't think I can do this anymore, you know, because it's so negative and like for $1.99, really, um, I don't, yeah. And then like, that's another one. Guys, I'm just rattling on here. So if you want to leave or tell me to shut up, let me shut up. But I'm just sharing stories with you. Um, I have gotten, uh, and I lost my train of thought here because this had something to do with a lady from Etsy. Um, poop. Oh, I know what it was. Um... I had a lady from Etsy who, who checked out as a guest, okay? And I don't know who who's, you know, some of you sell on Etsy. Um, I don't know if you've experienced this, but uh, Etsy does not have a very good system for guest. Um, well, thank you so much, Elena. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. I am crazy. I mean, but like I said, I own my crazy. You know what I mean? If, if, I try to be positive crazy, but, you know, there's only so much that you can take, you know. Um, but this lady had checked out as a guest on Etsy. And um, she, uh, she didn't get her e-pattern right away. And so, of course, this is my fault. It's not Etsy's fault. It's my fault. And I wasn't at home at the time. And I was out. You know, I get notifications on my phone. And my phone just kept buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. But, like, what is this lady's problem? You know what I mean? Give me half an hour, like, so I can get home. I mean, I even tell you on my Etsy shop, you know, give me 24 hours, you know, to get back with you. But normally I'm back with you right away. Um, but this lady just, oh, my phone just buzz, 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 buzz. Um, so it, I got home and it, it's the whole, she was a guest, you know, so she didn't have an account. And uh, I just, you know, suggested to her, I just says, I suggest, you know, that you create an Etsy account, you know. Etsy seems to have a problem with this guest thing. And, uh you know, it's just easier if you get yourself an Etsy account. That way we, we just negate this whole thing. You know, that purchase goes into your Etsy account and you're not, because when you're a guest, there's, unless you get that email or click that button right away, it's gone. You know, but Etsy, I love Etsy. I do. I love Etsy. I'm not dogging Etsy, but that, that guest thingy needs to be fixed a little bit. I said, I suggest to this lady, um, 
that, you know, she makes an account. Um, well, I ticked her off. So then she reports me to Etsy um, for harassing her. And and then, you know, I get the email from Etsy, you know, about war. I get a warning, you know. Um, so it's just, it's, it's crazy because that whole situation, I didn't even do anything. And then she had left, a, you know, bad feedback for me. So then I have to go through the whole process of trying to get bad feedback removed because the feedback had nothing to do with my e-pattern. Nothing. I mean, it, it was all about um, her not getting her, her pattern right away and then me apparently harassing her. I'm looking at your comment here, Franny. I'm sure like that that because I've I have wanted to do the Facebook lives um, but I shop on a couple of Facebook lives and you know my thing is I missed out if I didn't get it I did I mean I can't control my internet and I can't control you know that seller's internet but I do I see I see people getting getting crazy in there i mean it's just it's totally not i sit here and i laugh and i shouldn't you know but it's just totally not necessary for people to drag out fight you know when we don't get our way you know that's that's not ladylike that's not pretty you know so yeah this stuff goes on all the time you know and like i said i should probably shouldn't even be on here right now laughing and giggling that this stuff goes on but it does you know but I figure mm, I just get on here and I I just hang out with you guys and try to share stuff and um you know people either like me or they don't I will say all these lives that I I have done I have had uh one live that I did delete because I'm like I'm just not putting up with this negativity it's not worth it you know so I guess either people like you or, you, or they don't. Um, I don't know if I lost you guys. Um, if there's more comments down below here. I can't tell. I'm going to type something to see if I lost my comments. This happened to me yesterday. I think I lost my comments, guys, so maybe that's Facebook telling me to shut my yap um, and get off of here. Okie dokie, guys. Here, Pam Moody. Okay, Pam is here. Please don't stop doing what you do. The sap, I, I'm going to be honest on this one, and I, I, I don't get good feedback whenever um, you you know whenever I say this, um, I'm I just I can't put out the amount of patterns I used to. I've got health issues now that I did not have when I started this business, um, and I'm just like I'm on medications that you know uh, just make you feel poopy sometimes. I know, Franny, right? And it's just like, you can't sit there and, and like defend yourself, you know, that all this stuff is out of your control, you know, because I, I'm i still under the whole, and I do feel this way. I'm still under this whole thing where the customer, you know what I mean? The customer's right. We should be respecting our customers. They're actually, you know, who um, keep our business going. Um, but there are customers out there that... Um, Mm -mm. You just never gonna make them happy. What do they call them? Karens? Yeah, like I'll get I'll get Karens, you know, that shop with me, and yeah, those Karens get nasty. Um, but not everybody's a Karen, you know. So, but as far as doing what I do, it's like I I've been trying to be more open about this. Um, 
that I just can't put out the patterns like I used to. Um, my health has changed over the years. I have to take medications now that I didn't have to take before. Um, I have fibromyalgia. Um, and I just, I get brain brain fog a lot now. Um, and sitting down and trying to put these patterns together is, it's actually, it, it's, it's becoming um, a little, it's just rough. It's becoming rough. And I hate to say that because I have so many of you guys, um, uh, thank you, Elena. And I, like, I, I'll never take the patterns away, but yeah, I just, like I said, I, I can't keep up with, um, with putting out the patterns like I used to. Life is just, life has changed. I've, like I said, I have health conditions now. I have fibromyalgia and the fibromyalgia in itself. Um, it's, uh, it makes, I, even that in your, itself makes, um, makes your brain, um, foggy and I just I I don't know I just feel like I get more done um, whenever I can just make stuff and sell stuff um, so I don't know what I want to do I've got I've just I've got ideas in my head about things I want to do things I want to try but I mean like my pat I'm, I won't shut like my pattern business down um, but I used to put, um, I used to put out, um, you know, in the day, I would put out several e-patterns a month. Um, I'm lucky if I put out several e-patterns a year now. Um, but I so much appreciate everybody sticking with me. And I'm not taking them away. They'll always be there. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's where I, I stand with that. It's like... Like Franny said, like with the, the Facebook Lives, I mean, that's something I would like to try to do and try to sell some of um, my finished stuff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you're, you're not going to get rid of me. I mean, if you, if you think it's that easy just to get rid of me, you know, mm -mm, I'm, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. But, you know, I'm kind of having to readjust. Um you know, what I'm going to be doing. Because uh, life is just changing. Well, thank you, Miss Terry. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, it's like, I don't want to quit. I, I'm not, I'm not going to quit. You know, I just, I just feel like I need to readjust um, just because life has changed. Life has changed. And like, even with the fibromyalgia, I'm noticing um, uh, just even like working with my hands and my arms anymore. Um, yeah, it's painful. Um, so... Not going anywhere. I'll still be here. I'll I'll get on here and harass harass you guys with these videos. You know. <laughs> uh, Okie dokie, guys. Um, I don't even know what time it is. I got on here to just talk about and show you how to do this faces, and I think I've rattled on here for a long time. Which, um, yeah, I'm good. I'm good at rat just rattling on. Um, so, uh, yeah. All right, girls. Well, Miss Kimmy, you, you missed the whole video. You're going to have to go by, back and watch the replay. Um, well, thank you, Debbie. I like to get on here and, and do the lives. I mean, I just, even if there's all, you know, amount of us here, you know, sometimes I think even, I don't know, don't you guys feel like I'm just kind of need to, oh, I love you too, Miss Kimmy. You know that. Um, 
I just kind of like get, feels like you're just kind of hanging out with your crafty friends. You know what I mean? That's why I always tell you guys too, if you got comments or things you want to say, share them, you know, because we all can sit here and talk about it. Um, you know, got to get together with your crafty, um, crafty sisters and, you know, get some crafting done. And then, you know, you got to bitch and moan a little bit because that's, you know, get it. In. Yeah. And have fun. It's all about having fun. Sharing with each other. Alrighty. I think this is what about the... Awesome, Franny. Awesome. I'm glad. I'm, I'm really... I'm glad to hear that. Um, the... The... Uh, the... I have had... Approach me to other business ventures, you know, and it's basically doing the Facebook Live sales, and they're just they're doing wonderful with Facebook Live sales, um, and that is something I would like to get uh, more into doing. Um, is um, that's Franny who said that to Elena. that the Facebook lives, um, they working well. So, I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm ecstatic for you. You know what I mean? That, 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 me. that this is working out for you. You know what I mean? That, that's awesome. You know? This is probably the fifth, sixth time I've said, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you. Um, Franny, do you have a shop too? Because I'm trying to think. Oh, big hugs to you, Rita. See, everybody's starting because I've been rattling too long. I need to shut up, okay? Um, I wrote down your ideas. Um, about more um, videos. Um, I don't know if I'll be on. Oh, there I go. Um, we did get the uh, the pill posted. Um, the way it, um, don't enter here. Don't don't enter on the video. Um, go back 